Hey everybody, Johan Magnussen here, Big Sweet Barbecue, and today we're making a delicious pizza cacio e pepe on the Karma 32 from WPPO. The first thing that we need to do is make the pizza dough mix, and we're using the Panhandle Milling Artisan Style Pizza Crust Mix for this cook. You want to start by adding 226 grams of the pizza crust mix into a blender, and then you want to mix 156 grams of water with 7 grams of instant yeast. Then you want to add this into the mixer as well. And then you need to mix until the dough starts to form and then knead for about six to seven minutes. Then it's time to remove the dough from the mixer and shape into nice round dough balls. Then you want to set these aside for a couple of hours. Now it's time to light the pizza oven, so you want to stack a couple of sticks of pecan wood on top of each other, insert a fire starter, light it on fire, and then you want to heat up the pizza stone for about 45 minutes. Cacio e pepe basically means cheese and pepper, so now it's time to make the pecorino crema. Start by adding two cups of ricotta into a mixer, then you want to add one cup of grated pecorino cheese, and then three quarters of a cup of regular heavy whipping cream. Then you want to mix this on high until smooth and set aside. The pizza oven is hot, so it's time to start shaping the pizza, and you want to shape them into nice 10 inch round pizzas. First, we're going to add a little bit of creme fraiche that we thinned out with some water. Then we're going to add some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and also some freshly grated mozzarella. Then it's time to bake the pizzas in the oven for about six to seven minutes. Halfway through, you want to rotate the pizzas. When the pizzas are done, you want to remove them from the pizza oven. And then we're going to add a couple of dollops of pecorino crema and also some freshly crushed black pepper. And then the pizza is ready to serve. And that is how I make this delicious pizza cacio e pepe. And I think the only thing left to do is to try this. And look at, look at this beautiful thick crust. Uh, so here we go. Mm. Hot with cheese flavors. Really, really good. And then you have that pepper on top to give it another accent. This is really tasty. I hope you try it at home. Mm. Happy grilling.